Bonsoir Chums, this is Nick from TBT. I just thought I'd do a little short video today about my check, Walther TPH 2.2 Rimfire Pistol. Uh, I've had it for two weeks, I've put hundreds of shots through it, can't stop firing it, it's absolutely lovely, fantastic. Um, I first saw it for sale three weeks before the shop reopened uh, due to the Covid thing, all the, the gun shops were shut. So for three weeks I was looking at the picture of this on their website hoping it was still for sale, uh, trying to find everything I could about the gun. It's, it's something I'd never heard of before. They're quite rare, I believe. Um, so I've been all over the internet looking at various videos and things like that. Um, most of them were from America, which isn't a bad thing, but Americans tend to want guns for different reasons to, to um, why we want them here in Europe. So they weren't all that relevant to me. Um, so I thought I'd just do a little short one with a, a European perspective on the pistol. Also, uh, a lot of what you'll see about these says that they misfeed, uh, failure to eject, failure to fire FTE, FTFs, um, and they create something called Walther Bite, which is where when the slide comes backwards, it catches your hand and creates a, a bit of a rash or a, abrasion there. Um, it seemed to be that people who get one also get the other problem. So it's my theory that if your hand's big, and it hits your hand as it goes back, you're losing energy, you're losing efficiency there, and it's just not got enough power then to feed properly, to eject properly, or to fire properly. So I think if it doesn't affect your hand, I've got small hands, it's, you, you're going you're to be fine. Like I said, I've shot hundreds of rounds through this um, without a problem, just one or two misfires, which is quite normal for a, for a rim fire. Today at the club, everybody wanted to play with it, as you would, so... Uh, Everybody was having a go and there was one guy and it just kept misfeeding and misfiring. But he did have massive hands, so it, he said it was actually striking on the hand. So that's something to consider. Also, this one is uh, made in Germany um, in 1984. It's got a little ID stamp in there showing the, the date of it. In 1984 in Germany, a lot of the ones on the internet are the Interarms licensed copies that are made in America. I don't know if there's a difference in quality control or, or, or how things are made. Um, but certainly the German one seems to be very, very reliable. And that's it. I just thought I'd do this because this would have been useful for me. Thank you very much. <laughs>